Hello and welcome to Click Persian. Here is Mina with a quick lesson today about 10 common verbs in Farsi. Please like and subscribe to my channel Click Persian if you are an independent, intelligent and motivated learner who wants to speak Farsi confidently. Without any further ado, Let's start the lesson. The first verb is istadan. Istadan. It means to stand. In Farsi, in order to make different tenses, you need to know the past and present stem. Simply, for the past stem, you need to drop the ne, and for the present stem, you need to memorize them. For the past tense, you need the past system istad plus am, the personal ending for I. Istadam, istadam. Man ruye yikpa istadam. Man ruye yikpa istadam. I stood on one foot. However, for the present tense, we need me before the present stem and then the personal ending. In this case, we have me plus is plus am, the personal ending for I. Me istam, me istam. Man ruye yikpa, me istam. I'm going to stand on one foot. Man ruye yikpa, me istam. The second verb is busidan. Busidan means to kiss. Past stem is busid and the present stem is bus. Bus. For the past tense, we need and for the personal ending of they. Busid plus and. Busidand. Busidand. Anha hamdigara busidand. Anha hamdigara busidand. They kissed each other. For the present tense, we need me plus present stem bus plus and. Mi busand. Mi busand. Anha hamdigara mi busand. Anha hamdigara mi busand. They are kissing each other. The third verb is pochtan. Pochtan means to cook. The past stem is pocht and the present stem is paz. Paz. For the past tense and for the third person, you do not need to add any personal ending. Always for the third person conjugation, you just need to use the past stem without any ending. So pocht means he or she cooked. Susan غذای ایتالیایی پخت. Susan غذای ایتالیایی پخت. Means Susan baked an Italian food. For the present tense, however, you need me plus the present stem pass plus add as the personal ending for the third person. Mi pazad. Mi pazad. Susan غذای ایتالیایی می پزد. Susan غذای ایتالیایی می پزد. Susan is cooking an Italian food. The fourth verb is خریدن. خریدن means to buy. The past stem is خرید. The present stem is خر. For the past tense, if you want to conjugate it for you as a single person, you need e at the end of the past stem. خریدی. خریدی means you bought. تو چند تا لیمو خریدی. تو چند تا لیمو خریدی. You bought some lemons. For the present tense, you need me plus خر, the present stem, plus e. می خری. می خری. تو چند تا لیمو می خری. تو چند تا لیمو می خری. You're going to buy some lemons.
The fifth verb is oftadan. Oftadan means to fall. Past system is oftad. Present stem is oft. For the past tense, we need past stem. And we don't need any personal lending if we're gonna conjugate it for the third person. So, oftad means he or she fell off. David as nardeban oftad. David as nardeban oftad means David fell off the ladder. For the present tense, however, we need me plus present stem oft plus ad. The personal ending for the third person, me of dad, me of dad. David as Nardeban Dorad me of dad. David as Nardeban Dorad me of dad. David is falling off the ladder. The sixth verb is Shenidan. Shenidan means to hear. Past system is shenid and the present system is shenav. Shenav. For the past tense, if you're going to conjugate it for you as a single person, you need e at the end of the past system. Shenidi. Shenidi. Aya in sedara shenidi. Aya in sedara. Shenidi. Did you hear the sound? For the present tense, we need me plus present stem shenav plus e, the personal ending for you as a single person. Mi shenavi. Mi shenavi. Ayo in sedara mi shenavi. Ayo in sedara mi shenavi. Do you hear the sound? The seventh verb is sachtan. Sachtan to build. The past system is sacht and the present system is saz. Saz. For the past tense, if we're going to conjugate it for we, we need the past system sacht plus im, the personal ending for we. Sachtim. Sachtim. ما خانه ساختیم ما خانه ساختیم We build a house For the present tense, we need me plus present the stem saws plus im the personal ending for we می سازیم می سازیم ما خانه می سازیم ما خانه می سازیم We are building a house The eighth verb is nevestan. Nevestan means to write. The past system is nevisht, nevisht, and the present stem is nevis, nevis. For the past tense, if you want to con conjugate it for you as plural, you need the past system plus the personal ending eed. For you all. Neveshtid. Neveshtid. You wrote. Shoma mashq neveshtid. Shoma mashq neveshtid. You wrote homework. For the present tense, you need me plus per present stem nevis plus eid, the personal ending for you as plural. Me nevisid. Me nevisid. Shoma mashq me nevisid. Shoma mashq me nevisid. You're writing homework. The ninth verb is shostan. Shostan. To wash. The past system is shost. And the present stem is shu. For the past tense, if you want to conjugate it for I, 
we need the past system show plus m, the personal lending for y. Shostam, shostam. Man dast hayam ra shostam. Man dast hayam ra shostam. Means I washed my hands. For the present tense, we need me plus the present stem shu plus am, the personal ending for I. Mi shu yam, mi shu yam. Mandast ha yam ra, mi shu yam. Mandast ha yam ra, mi shu yam. I am washing my hands. Last but not least verb is boridan, boridan, to cut. The past system is borid, the present system is bor. For the past tense, if you want to conjugate it for the third person, he or she, you do not need any personal ending. Borid, borid, he or she cut. U takhte borid, u takhte borid. He cut plank. The present tense, we need me plus present stem, bor, plus add the personal ending for the third person. Mi borat. Mi borat. U tachte mi borat. U tachte mi borat. He is cutting plank. He is cutting plank. All right, train yourself, practice these verbs, enjoy them. This should be a fun process. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next lesson.